we were coming out to the court, we knew we were going to shoot some, a, a new form of content where uh, Ian and I would play a match and we'd kind of confess to what's going on, like what are we thinking, what are we feeling, how are we going to deal with the situation that I was presenting. Um, and honestly, I felt pretty confident. I came out, we played last week, and I won two and two, and I, was, I felt pretty good. Um, but I knew one of the big factors was, that was in the back of my head from the beginning of warm-up is that my racket um, strings are probably about to break. And then as we went into the warm-up, it broke. And I mean, in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh, crap. Because part of my game is just the ease of how I can create heavy balls and move the ball around without having to do so much work is, is what makes me good on the court, makes me aggressive, and I can continue that. And I knew when I broke the string, I couldn't make it a big deal because I, I didn't want him to like, oh, if he loses, he's gonna make this excuse. And I didn't want to have that in the back of my head, just like, oh, he's just gonna think, oh, because he broke the racket that he lost, and you know. So it was like, uh, there was a little bit of pride on my side that was like, you know what, I'm gonna play it off a little bit. And just like, oh, not a big deal. I just use another racket. But in the back of my mind, the racket was a huge ordeal, but I was like, I can't expose that to him so early in the match. I couldn't find my timing. So internally, I felt super confident about my plan, about what I needed to do. It, there was no question about what I needed to do. I just could not figure out the timing of getting it done. So for me, like everything was off. Like on my forehand side, like to hit the ball heavy, I, it just, it was so much extra work. Oh, it was raining on force errors. On my backhand especially, I was shanking a lot more, but on my forehand, just, I didn't feel like it was heavy, so I was trying to go for it a little bit too much, and I'd, I'd play it a little wide, a little long. Uh, I think I remember in the first three games, like in the first game, there's a ball that I'm so used to, that's a little bit lower that I can kind of whip and have it come heavy, and it was like two inches long. Uh, I remember forehand inside out where I missed, where I'm literally aiming like maybe two feet inside, three feet inside the, uh, the, the side line, and I missed that by two feet. And then the backhand was just a mess. I mean, if he came in, there's no feel of like dipping the ball low. Uh, there was just like hit hard because the bracket was so strung so tight, it would just take a lot of extra effort, and I just wasn't doing it. I consider myself a competitor. and. If I'm on the other side and someone's like, oh, I broke a racket, I'm like, I'm still gonna kick your ass. That's your fault, deal with it. But I also wanted the, like, the sneaky pleasure of like, dude, I did break my strings, and I was super uncomfortable, and I figured it out. There's just some, there's, there's almost an extra pleasure if I could've won, and internally kind of knew how off I was with everything, and I just kept it inside, and I still like beat them. My first adjustment was just like start trimming the fat, make more balls, stop being so aggressive. Just let's rally this out. Um, because even with that, I feel like I can make more balls if I just settle down and just start grinding. And if I can keep him on the baseline, it, the, the, the points are going to go in my favor the longer they go. My next strategy was to really start slowing things down, letting Ian have to kind of come up with more power, more pace, dictate from the baseline, and take more chances trying to change directions. Um, and that was really successful. The moment I went to the second strategy of slowing things down, or I guess that's the third strategy of slowing things down, um, kind of uh, just really working the back end and putting more pressure on him to come up with more shots from the back end side and create more pace off the forehand side, he started making a lot of errors and I got really confident. I know what I need to do to win, but it's not working, so I have to do something different. So mentally, it was more so like, hey, you just have to like come to the realization that this isn't gonna work today and that you have to do something different and you have to be uncomfortable doing it and it's okay um, as long as you're, you're getting the results you're looking for, it's okay. And so once I did that and I made that switch, um, I actually enjoyed it because it's actually, funny enough, it was easier to win points by slowing it down, making more balls than kind of my normal like use my legs, use my strength, kind of bully type game style. When I did find something, I was so excited because it's like this, it's at least, it puts me in a position to, to, to win more points, to be in the match, even though it wasn't what I wanted to do. So I was, I was super excited to find something. It's the best feeling in the world when either you're struggling for something, like that first set, and then you know you're just constantly looking for const uh, combinations to use, 
or the sequence, the, the combination lock to open up the match. And then it's like you're, you're, you're dialing the, the lever and you're hearing it and you hear click. And it's like, the safe opens and you're in. And then, I mean, yeah, you get so excited. You cannot second guess any decision. Whatever you're doing, commit to it and do it with every fiber of your mind, your body, your soul, and live and die by it. And so when you, you play that way, it's like such a pure feeling and such a, a, a visceral like determination that it, it makes, you almost get a high from being in that situation. And it's like, even though on the other end, you're looking back and you're like, God, that was awesome. But when you look back and, and you're in the situation, it's such a high to kind of have your mind focus so deeply on something and be so committed to an outcome.